Hi, I'm Azar Vijomeko. I'm going to present our paper entitled Link Open Literature Review Using the Neuro Symbolic Open Research Knowledge Graph. This is a joint work with Soren Auer and Alad Olin. Then, uh, the way scholarly knowledge is communicated today is using static resources on structured solitary resources that are highly processable by machine and artificial intelligence. Given the static, the static way of these resources, we call them review 1.0 has reference to uh, work 1.0. We propose in this work a new way that we call semantic review or review 3.0, which is based on a neurosymbolic approach. It is based on extracting key insights from scientific paper, leveraging neural model, and organizing these key insights using a symbolic scholarly knowledge graph. Then uh, we provide in this presentation a, a global description definition of a neuro symbolic knowledge graph. Let's talk about the case study, the full information engineering case study. Then we started with a general, general view of food information engineering. We have the introduction, the research methodology, the resources created, etc., and the link to the different version, to the different section of food information engineering. For example, the collection of food information. Concerning the collection of food information, we started with this first version of the review and this comparison table here. Then if you click here, you get access to the comparison table, which presents the different um, the different data sources used for food ontologies construction. Then you can add a new paper to this comparison table and publish and republish this comparison, uh, a new version of this comparison table. Then we also provide food information engineering, uh, food information organization. You can see here that ORKG provide a way to get access to the last version and or to see the history of the different version that were created. We are in the fifth version. We also provided a meta review, which is the review of existing review on food information engineering. We provide in this comparison, for example, people related to food information uh, engineering, the research problem that were described in this review, etc. Then let's play with uh, food. Uh, let's play with ORKG using the ORKG sandbox. Then um, with the ORKG sandbox, we have the possibility to uh, import to import several tables. Automatic the ORKG will automatically extract table in the in uh, in the in the in the paper and 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 and, and provide uh, some recommendation and provide recommendation of annotation so that to facilitate the annotation. Then we can also create templates. Then templates are used to um, describe to describe uh, several research papers, uh, research paper of the same domain. Then uh, we can create new template, but we are going to see how we can modify an existing template. For example, this template containing eight properties. Then we, if we click on the edit of this template and we add a new property, you can see here that we have this button which allowed us to get suggestion. Suppose that we have we want to add this property in the system, then if we click here, we see that ChatGPT is going to provide us with uh, some recommendations, some information that can allow us to refine this property. Then um, uh, this is uh, you can also use our KG to create a review. Then to create a review, you have to click on this button here. Then you'll see the previous version that was created. You can click on the create a new review. Then let's say, let's put uh, something. And then when you created the review, you can edit now the review and add the resources that you want to see in your review. You can add a comparison table. You can add an ontology, et cetera, et cetera. Then thank you for following this presentation. Please reach to us if you have any question on this work. Thank you very much.